So what's up and if you're wanting to install this Android 11 on your mobile phone, this right here is the latest build of Android 11 from Evolution X, installed on my device K20 Pro. Keep watching the video where I'll be talking you everything related to this ROM and at the end I'll be telling you how you can get this installed on your mobile phones. So without wasting much time, oh wait, if you haven't watched the rest of this series which goes with the ROM review, I'll leave the link here or in the description, go check that out first so that you can know how this series works. And now without wasting any more time, let's roll the intro. The first thing that we actually look in ROM comparison videos is the bloatware that is installed on your mobile phone. This ROM has zero bloatware and everything that is installed on this mobile phone is very basic and minimal. You can go ahead and download anything that you want after that but believe me zero bloatware service is being provided by Evolution X which is from my opinion very nice and very good. So whenever you are using a ROM or whenever you are testing a ROM, the smoothness with which the applications open, close, transitions between the applications and all those small animations which are being put in Android's latest version matters a lot. And that is why while testing this ROM, I specifically paid attention to all the small details that are being put in Android 11 to make the user feel even more connected to the UI of the phone. This ROM is of no exception because whenever you will be using this ROM, you will be seeing that a lot of things will go seamlessly with the user experience. Starting off with the unlocked notifications to the sliding off wallpaper whenever you are shifting anything. You can switch between the application, make the application go to the home screen and all such gestures are actually smooth and very seamless which will overall build on a very smooth user experience on this Evolution X Android 11 ROM. One of the reasons why we actually prefer to go with custom ROMs is because of the level of customization it gives you and the freedom to choose whatever you want on your mobile phone, which might not be there in a stock ROM, not even in my UI I think. And that's why I tend to always have a custom ROM installed on my mobile phone without even caring if this ruins the warranty of my phone, even though it never did. But coming back to the point of customization options which are available in Evolution X of this Android 11's build, you will get everything. So all those customization options that you will see on Evolution X in Android 10, which I'll be leaving the link here in the pop-up card to see, you will find each and every option in Android 11's build. So I'm not gonna be going through them each and every time again. So you can just go ahead and watch that video and then you can see what all options you will be getting which are exactly the same in this room too. Plus there are some new cool options which are being integrated because of Android 11. Like for example whenever you are pressing your power button now if you have some smart devices you can link it there and whenever you need to control those devices instead of opening their applications and then going into the device and selecting everything all you need to do is just hold your power button and then the controls for those smart devices will pop up right away beneath the options where you will be finding the reboot and shutdown options and emergency options. So that is one of the coolest features that I've seen in the integration of Android 11 so far. Second feature is the chat head features that you will be finding in this room. Now people who don't know what chat head is like messenger. So instead of especially having a completely screen reserved for one application, you can just have a small chat head loitering around your screen going from one place to another and whenever someone is texting you it pops up so you can read the message again and then you can just let it be in the background somewhere around your screen while you perform some other task. That is the main point of Chathead and this Chathead is actually supported in Android 11 now in this particular room. So that is a great thing and for as far as the customization is concerned, you will find each and everything from Android 10 plus features of Android 11 in this Android 11's build, which is super nice for me. The next thing that we usually include is camera and believe me, this is gonna be surprising because all those Android 11 ROMs which are there will not be having ANX camera if you are a MIUI or Redmi user or Xiaomi user. Main reason is because ANX is gonna be working on Android 11, not before 2021. And that is why everyone which is being posting this Android 11 ROM is coming with uh, either Google Co or the default AOSP camera application because of which you will be losing the utility of two of your camera lenses, ultra wide and 48 megapixel. 
So that was a down point, but this ROM now has ANX camera into it, which is a ported version of course, it's not official. And that's why I wasn't expecting each and every feature to work. Surprisingly, this camera is now 90% stable, 10% is not. So the portrait mode is not working. Besides that, if you remove that from the element, each and everything works flawless. Now I can use ultra wide camera, 48 megapixel, manual focus, a normal 13 megapixel from the back, selfie camera, each and everything which is involved in the camera application, the AI, HDR, everything works. And the camera's quality is really amazing and I kind of like it the way it used to be in Android 10. This is exactly the same now and I'm just waiting for the time that Portrait mode also gets improved and working on this Android 11's build of Evolution X, which is my take for now. For all those gamers who are watching this series of my video, Android 10 used to be very stable for gaming, but believe me, after the launch of this build of Android 11 on Evolution X, which is installed on my K20 Pro, I'm proudly saying that you can go ahead and download this and you will not be seeing any frame drops while gaming. And the kernel itself is amazing the stock one that comes with the rom so i didn't even have to change any other kernel to make the performance go even better which is why i kind of preferred this rom over all because it's giving me the android features of android 11 latest ones and then even with the gaming performance it's performing really well i played call of duty on completely full graphics and the frame rate that i got most of the time was either 59 or 60 because the limit is 50 on K20 Pro, which I wouldn't say bad at all. This is more like a performance centric and since the phone was not getting heated up, I think you would not be having any kind of throttling issue on your mobile phone as well. Wait, I think one of the reasons why the devices didn't really throttle is probably because it's winter, right? So you will be having an advantage right there. But believe me, you would not be having any other problems while you play games on this ROM. Now for all those who keep on asking me the benchmark scores, I went ahead and ran Geekbench on my mobile in this room. And the scores that you'll be seeing now is actually one of the best scores I've seen in a ROM performance considering it's a beta ROM, like it's not even there as a stable release. And Android 11 at this point can give you this performance, so imagine if this becomes stable, like when it becomes stable, what will be the performance output? from this ROM. Now coming to the last feature of this ROM is the battery performance. Now as we all know that K20 Pro comes with a 4000 mAh of battery which means one complete day of usage. So if you pick your phone up in the morning with 100% charge, you'll be able to drag it till the evening depending upon your use but somewhere around 4 to 5 hours of on screen usage time. Now this ROM breaks all those barriers. This ROM is actually gonna be giving you 7 hours of screen on time. Believe me, 7 hours and I have the proof right here. I still had 15% of battery left on my mobile phone and my screen on time was 7 hours. So around 7.5 hours is the screen on time that I got on this ROM which is super amazing. Considering a beta ROM with Android 11 on it and then you know all those features from Android 11 which is helping you customize and optimize your experience of those background applications that are running in the background. I think that's the reason why you're able to get 7 hours of screen on time on this ROM. Now the last step if you want to install this ROM on your mobile phone, I'll be leaving the link of Evolution X in the description. Go ahead on that website and check if your device is having this Android 11's built out there. Not a lot of devices are there at the moment but soon enough they'll be coming as your developers of that respective device is making the build ported to your phone. But once it's out there, all you have to do is get a latest vendor, install it on your phone and then just download the zip and flash it right away. You'll be able to use Android 11 on any of your phones if it is supported in Evolution X. So that's been it for this video and I'll be wrapping up with this. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to leave your like on this video. And if you want to be a part of my channel where you receive content like this every week, join by clicking on subscribe. If you have any questions, queries, Ask me in the description where you will see the comment section or reach out to me on my Instagram and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.